Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're just doing a little bit of a late night kind of funny meme showcase over here because we've been seeing more and more PlayStation 5 scalpers kind of get a little bit upset that it isn't really going their way. Now, we might want to do a little more of a deep dive on this type of video if you guys want me to because at the end of the day, we've had so much PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X restock drama that, well, for me, it kind of makes me feel a little bit better when we're seeing scalpers and people who had, like, well, this huge amount of money invested into the stock, basically just not being able to go and move their stock. So, I like seeing this just because, well, now this also means that maybe more normal folks can get their consoles, but as well, it also is like another huge, like, big leap step that this huge supply shortage is pretty much almost over. So, a bit of a quick meme, because it's been going viral, we've been seeing comments about this, and as well, just all around the general, like, Twitterverse, Redditverse, and everything in between. So, let's go talk about this really quickly, and hope you guys can enjoy some memes for a little late night weekend vibe. So, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, if you guys are still trying to get your consoles target and amazon links down below they should be in stock and of course make sure you guys are subscribed in the twitter twitch room down below so uh there's this one meme it's, it's a quickie this is a quickie video but it makes me happy to see this nonetheless we're seeing this where we have this over here where now we're seeing people kind of seeing scalpers in action we're seeing people trying to take photos and we've seen a lot more like i, I could probably make a full dedicated 10 minute video because it just makes me happy to see this where we're now seeing folks over here with this guy trying to return multiple playstation 5s you guys can kind of see in their car like you see at least one two probably three four another one five at least minimum six PlayStation 5 consoles inside this guy's car. At least. There might be another one or two snuck in there. Uh, as well as also, you know, you guys literally see the one on the ground. So, bro. We are now seeing these scalpers getting rejected. We're now seeing these scalpers getting rot. And we also have been hearing instances of a lot of scalpers holding on to, like, uh, almost warehouses of stock. You guys can even see over here, they said manager came out and told him he couldn't even return these consoles, these Walmart consoles, because he had already tried at other stores, and they sent out a message to watch out for him. So basically, the interconnected, like, Walmart mafia is like, hey, yo, this guy's trying to scheme the system and try to get a few thousand dollars back, which, in theory, at least he paid for it. Unlike all the other GameStop stuff that we covered like one or two days ago where people are just stealing consoles still nonstop from GameStop. But at least he did pay for it. But at the end of the day, this is what you kind of go and get. Now, it's not the most woe is me because you can still probably sell it on Facebook. You could probably at least get asking price or maybe a little bit below it. Maybe lose a hundred bucks. Not the world's worst cause. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like rightfully so, buddy. <laughs> it's kind of funny too because the other comments are like, scalping didn't go the way he thought it would. He thinks it's still 2020. And I would kind of agree. I do think a lot of folks are still kind of hard stuck. Uh, and I keep on saying this, I think normal folks kind of don't realize that consoles are pretty readily available. Whether on like the Amazon link down below or Target, it has been like kind of a slow like crawl. So I kind of get it, but it kind of goes to show a lot of normal folks still kind of think that these consoles are, well, not that kind of hard to go get. But it doesn't mean that scalpers can still go and charge $700 per console like they used to. And now it kind of seems like they're getting a little bit more desperate on trying to go and return their consoles and make some money back. So my question to you guys, do you guys think that this person, at least on this little viral TikTok that's been floating around, I've seen some other instances too as well. Do you think they should be able to go and return their consoles at the end of the day? Or do you think they have to stick with their purchases and go from there? On one hand, if they somehow did get to return it, they get their money back from a risk-free investment, I guess, at that point. But also means that other folks in the community can maybe go pick up and buy the consoles and sell them from that. But at the same time, too, I kind of wish they'd had to sell the stock and kind of face the issues of their repercussion and or repercussions of their issues, whatever it might be, <laughs> and go from there. So very nifty stuff to see that scalpers are having issues, and we've been seeing this more widespread. And this is at least one good positive perk of us seeing the consoles more readily available. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. If you guys want me to make more of a little deep dive on the scalping situation, feel free to. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We have the Target links down below and Amazon links in case you guys do want to go pick up your consoles. I just want to say I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place. And I'll see you guys all very, very soon.